It's almost June, and the vaccines have finally started to roll out to many more people around the world. This almost makes it seem like we can return to the normal at this rate. This almost feels like we will finally be able to breathe like we used to, before March of 2020. I'm glad it looks like we'll finally be able to see the light. This is the perfect second wind to my life. Why? Well, I was at the end of my rope not too long ago. May. 2020. I was still under the impression things were going to get better by July. Looking back, I realized how ridiculous that thought was. It's funny how back then, around 13,000 cases were already obscene. Even then, I was still hopeful I'd be able to continue my college life normally. So then, I thought, I might as well kill time. Since it was summer, and I didn't really think school was going to be a thing for a while, I only had an HP laptop that could barely do anything besides basic tasks like browse the internet or watch movies, and my phone, which was the bare minimum to keep myself occupied. Then June came, which was the time I seemed to recall the announcements that classes were going online for the foreseeable future. In my head, I still thought, it'll probably be normal by the end of the year, right? Right? July came, and I was just constantly glued to my phone watching YouTube to no end, day and night, filling my brain with mostly useless information like the Japanese and Aomori believe Jesus came to Japan to spread Christianity, or the highest paid Hollywood actor of 2019's salary. Fast forward to November, still 2020, and my parents got me a computer. Since my sister needed advice, she got that old HP laptop I mentioned earlier for her online classes. By January 2021, the first semester of sophomore year had come to a close, and I could finally unwind. I'd pretty much stopped caring about dates and time. I'd forgotten about looking forward to a future where I could go out again and socialize with other people. At this point, I didn't want to anymore. To add insult to injury, my computer's hard drive had seriously malfunctioned and was rendered useless due to a mechanical failure. Then I had to buy a solid state drive, though I couldn't afford one that could hold as many files as my hard drive could, or games for that matter. I settled on a 120GB SSD and created all my school folders from scratch. In addition, I decided if I'm going to be stuck with this thing for a while, might as well have some fun. By April, I decided to explore my Steam library for games that would keep me occupied for a long while, and also small enough to fit on the drive of my school documents. This game that I eventually decided on was The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Skyrim is that game that I'm pretty sure anyone who's played at least five video games in their life knows about. Skyrim is that game where it's so immersive that one hour of playtime is simply not enough to enjoy the game for one session. Skyrim is that one game where you really get lost in the music that accompanies you in your journey through the titular land and on your quests to slay dragons. In my opinion, all of that holds true. I mean, just listen to this and try telling me it seems boring. When I had really stopped caring about the flow of time, I could care about what happened to my character in Skyrim. I could care about where I wanted to go, who I wanted to fight, what I wanted to do or learn. This was the crutch I had used for a good few months in order to stop myself from wanting to go out and risk getting the virus. I felt like this was the only way I could go out, quote unquote, through this video game. Skyrim was my escape. It was my drug. It was also a lesson. 
As I miraculously snapped back to reality, I checked my canvas page and I had seen the great amount of tasks I had yet to complete. I wasted at least a hundred hours of my life because I thought I had nothing left to live for. Why did the deadlines remind me I had something to live for? Because I knew if I failed college, I'd really be at a loss. I remember why I went to college. I remember why I wake up every day. I remember that there will be a light at the end of this dark tunnel I'd equate to COVID-19 to. So I slowly but surely stopped playing Skyrim. Less and less, and here I am. I was relieved to hear the vaccines are finally here. I felt like I didn't need to lose myself in a video game anymore. Though I will admit, I believe it did its job as a game, made the pain of living just a little less painful, 